All right, guys, let's get right into this week's video. But first, if you missed my last video for my turkey chili, mm -hmm, I'll wait. <laughs> you already know what to do. Watch this one and then go back and check it out. Because this week, I'm going to show you how to make these beauties. I'm calling these my teriyaki and pineapple glaze baby back ribs. They are so delicious, so tender, juicy. I cannot wait to share this recipe with you. So let's get to this countdown. Hi guys and welcome back to it Adrian. Thanks, it's me Adrian. Today I'm gonna to show you my quick and easy recipe for my teriyaki pineapple glaze ribs baby back ribs they're so delicious so moist tender and i can't wait to show you this quick and easy recipe so you know what i'm about to do I'm about to point you down so i'm making some ribs and some other goodies for today and starting off with these baby back ribs so i have here a little all-purpose greek seasoning and i'm just going to give a nice sprinkling of that Everything I do on the front, I'm going to repeat on the back side, but I'm going to do the front first. Have a little red pepper flake. Just give it a little kick. Going in with a little Mrs. Dash. You already know. Going in with a little onion powder. Going in with a little dried chives. It's a salt-free seasoning. This is garlic herb. I have a little ground black pepper. Here's a little ground thyme. Two satchels of sasson. This is with the achote in it, the color. Just gonna hit it with just a little table salt and just a very light coat, just like that. Just hit that with a little extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to rub this all in and then I'm going to flip them over and repeat our seasoning everything except the sasson all right I'll meet you back okay so I have the back of our ribs all seasoned just want to massage that in like so and you know there's a film that's on the back of the rib um so you want to just kind of get your finger under there and just pull that off. And I did that off camera. Okay, so now for our glaze. Here I have, hopefully I didn't get it all dirty with my hands, but uh, this is a marinade. It's a teriyaki glaze and it has pineapple juice in it. So this is going to be delicious on these ribs. Start with the back. Okay, I'm gonna flip them over. I'm gonna do the same on the front of the rib, top side. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some foil and we're gonna wrap each one up individually and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I hope you can see in my oven, I was moving a little quick here, and I had already wrapped up our ribs in heavy duty foil, and they're in the oven at 350 degrees, and I'll let you know how long they take to cook. Good and tender. I can already look at them and tell they are. Good and tender, and knife is going right in. Look how juicy. All right, let me peek at another one. This is the best way to do ribs. Smells 
so good. Can you smell them in? Yeah, they smell delicious. They're nice and tender. Look at that. Knife just in and out. Okay guys, so these ribs are done and I'm just gonna put a light glaze on top of them. I'm going to be using Sweet Baby Ray's um, honey um, barbecue sauce as well as their sweet teriyaki sauce. And that same marinade that we used, um, that uh, teriyaki with the pineapple uh, juice added, we're gonna add a little bit of that as well. All right. And I'm going straight out the bottle, so. And I think if you've had Sweet Baby Ray's, you know it doesn't need much. Um, if you're looking for any recipe on how to make your own barbecue sauce, I'm sure I have something that you can look at uh, to see how you make your own barbecue sauce. Uh, but this works fine for me. So that was the honey barbecue, and now I'm going to use just a bit of the uh, sweet teriyaki. Just like that. And I have some of the teriyaki glaze with the pineapple juice. We're just going to give a little bit of that because we already marinated uh, the ribs in that when we cooked them in this, actually. So, um, this is just going to give a just kind of bring those flavors back again, you know, that we cooked in. So we're just going to add a little bit of that. I have my brush here. I'm just going to brush that right on. And if you care about the underside being glazed too, and you can feel free to do that. So just like that, just making sure I get them all. Just add our glaze, brushing it on. And they are super tender, these ribs. If I can just show you, if I can just see if I can just show you. Just trying to pull out that end bone, just like that. They just fall off the bone tender. All right, guys, so these are going back in the oven just for a few minutes, just to let that sort of cook in a little bit. But then you know what's next, the taste. All right, guys, they are done. Look at the sheen from that glaze of honey barbecue sauce teriyaki sauce and the marinade that we use um, all on here so good that's my little rib on top there <laughs> all right let's give it a taste mm, let me show you just so tender really good my fingers are all sauced up but that's okay if I wasn't on camera you know <laughs> but guys if you're not a subscriber what you waiting on child head on over hit that subscribe button hit that like button drop me a comment down below tell your family your friends your aunties your uncle and them tell them what I'm doing in this kitchen y'all and what Adrian thinks all right guys until next time, teriyaki ribs, out. <laughs> Bye.